Hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Happy Monday. I am going to share with you how I made over 48 masculine cards in one evening. So um, I've this is something uh, I have a request for all the time. More masculine cards, more masculine cards. And it seems like I never have enough masculine cards. Uh, someone at the church, you know, a husband's wife will pass. And I'm like, oh, I need a sympathy card. But all I have is flowers and hearts. I'm like, oh, I need a, you know, something else. But th then there's birthdays and there's get well cards. And we've got Father's Day coming up. So we all need a lot more masculine cards. I can't wait to share with you all about that. All right, let me bring up the comments. Hello, Kim and Tony and Tanya and Pat. Welcome, all of you. And Vicki, hello. All right. Um, before we get started, though, for those of you who have just met me, I've just found me. My name is Christina Reese. This is Creating with Christina. Now, I come live three days a week. On Mondays, I try to do some kind of a technique with you, some kind of a uh, extra uh, learning tutorial. But on Wednesdays, we do card challenges. And on Fridays, we do fun folds. So today, Monday, I'm going to share with you how I made 48 masculine cards in one night. All right. You're going to just love this. Um, oh, also, uh, let me switch over. So um, I had uh, um, Barbara Freeman. She sent me this beautiful card, and I just wanted to share this with you. I love sharing cards that you all make and send to me. And she was just wishing me all things fabulous, saying thank you uh, for the nice surprise uh, that came in her package. So uh, yes, whenever you order the card kits from me or the paper shares or whatever you order from me, um, I always try to send in a little something extra as a thank you. And she was just sending me a thank you for that. This is the card kit for June. All right. So um, I'm using the teacup uh, stamp set and dies and uh, basically what you get if you order the kit you get everything you need to make these cards there are two of each so 10 cards total please message me if you want more information on that you have until the 10th to get those and let's go ahead and get started hello Anne from Georgia and Colleen now the first thing you are going to need is a paper pack all right now I have picked the um hey sports fans i had bought this paper pack i had not bought the stamp set or the dies with it i had i basically i buy a pack every pack that's in the catalog and i had this one i hadn't used it yet i'm thinking oh my gosh it's about to retire as a matter of fact it's 50 percent off right now we have a last last chance product sale going on and um it's fifth the paper 12 by 12 sports fan paper is 50 percent and the sport the dies that go with the stamp set are 50 percent off so if you've got some baseball fans in your family or uh in your life this is a great paper pack you might want to get so what you do is you get the pack now i've already cut the pack up because i've already made the cards but you want to get the uh, card stock that coordinates so i got knight of navy and the green and the poppy and the the gold um, what is this? This is um, crushed curry. So I got all that out. I got out. So this uh, suite um, had twine that coordinated with it. So I got that out. I did not have the little stars that coordinated with it, but um, I do have give it a whirl and the give it a whirl has some stitch stars that you can cut out. So if you've got stars, <coughs> excuse me. So I got all that out. Now, let me show you these cards. So what I did is I took the entire paper pack. Hold on, I'm trying to reach for them. I took the entire paper pack and I cut it up into four by six pieces. So each each sheet, so like this is a whole sheet here, uh, made up six bases. But it's six inches long, so I cut off three quarters of an inch, so it'd be five and a quarter. And that left me with a three quarter inch strip right there that I could use. Okay. So every one of these cards, now this paper pack. Oh, the other thing you need are punches that makes it go really fast too. So I pulled out all my fun punches that I have. Uh, there's a whole stack of them over here on the side of the desk pack, uh, the punches. I punched out, uh, the back side of the paper with that, that baseball looking paper. And then I fussy cut this flag. And I made, so I made these cards 
and love these. So these are will all be like uh, if they have a congratulations or a birthday or or Father's Day, because you can put whatever you want on the inside. I haven't done the insides. OK, all star dad. So that is one page. OK, here is the next one I did. So get all six of these. Here we go. So these I kind of did the same thing. I just cut fussy, cut those flags out, but I did not put a circle behind it. it. I didn't think it really needed it. So and then those are the baseball bats. So I have all of those. So that was fun. Then I took a stamp set. Oh, the other thing you need are various, uh, a variety of stamps. OK, so this is to a great guy. And this came from the Wildlife Wonder stamp set. This one here to a great guy. Um, and so this can be for anything also. And I just, I love that, just the tone on tone, just all, it's all Knight of Navy. So we have that. And these all look alike. These are all exactly the same. So got six of those. Then this one, this was fun. This one I did a little extra. So I had to fussy cut the tickets out. The tickets were on a piece of the paper. I put the twine back behind it. Okay, cut out, punched out a circle. This, of course, is the bottom of that one there. Okay, and I love that red stripe. So we had, you're out of this league. Hey there, you're out of this league. Oh, there was a flag. Um, let's get together and celebrate. And best day ever. So those were fun. Now, these are my Father's Day cards. Really simple. Wishing you a happy Father's Day. That came from our newest... Uh, he's all that. This is our newest masculine stamp set. And so um, I did that. I just punched it out, put it on that the strip there. Now, I turned these and made these landscape. Um, so the strip didn't fit all the way across, but that's okay. I just cut a little flag punch. We have this um, flag tail punch here, or you can just do it by hand. But anyway, so all of these look alike. These are all exactly the same. Okay. So my three son-in-laws, if they meet up, they're going to know they got the same Father's Day card. <laughs> now, sometimes I need uh, like a sympathy card or something. Um, this is from our brand new uh, inspirational stamp set. Where did, here it is. Sorry about that. All my stamps are everywhere right now. I love this stamp set. Uh, Hope anchors the soul. This is a, everybody needs this stamp set. If you've got um, especially if you have a church card ministry, this is great. So um, they're all the same. However, this paper was a big starburst. Okay, so it had the big starburst in the middle. And then these kind of radiated out. I'm not sure how it all fit together. But anyways, uh, but that's okay. It still looks good. But I did like how it looked like sun rays coming down. So you're in my prayers. Um, yeah, and all of those look alike. And then my last one, uh, well, not my last one. I'm gonna my last one I'm gonna do with you guys. Uh, this one here, um, you're kind of a big deal. Came the whale uh, stamp set, uh, whale done. Anyways, um, but I punched out the paper that had the baseball stripes with the circle, and then I punched the the new decorative circle punch out. And the this is just a leftover piece from the the paper pack and these all look alike. So like I said, the, uh, and then you can go in and you can put stars or bling or ribbon, whatever to decorate it later. But what it is, is I have 48 cards now that I, whenever I need a masculine card, it's not so specific like you're in my prayers doesn't necessarily mean it's a sympathy card. It could be, you know, he broke his foot or I don't know, um, just having a really rough time in life. Um, and then on the inside, I can make it more personal as to the reason for the card. So this is so fun. So you just take a paper pack. All right. You just cut it up all the sheets into four by six and then cut the bottom piece off so that it's four by five and a quarter save these strips and mix and match them all right so let me show you with this card that we're going to make together all right so <clears throat> are you ready we got here we got here all right we got a lot a lot of a lot of hellos we got jean uh, georgia from england uh, doris says great idea for cards hello from idaho from linda Good, good, good. Oh, I got another English. Uh, oh, hey, Jan, you've been with us before, Cambridgeshire. Yes, awesome. All right, so here we go. I took, oops, I'm missing my strips. Oh, oh, there they are. Okay. All right, so this 
piece had the baseball bats on the back. Okay. But we're not going to use the baseball bats. We're not going to make this specifically like a baseball card. This is going to be a little different. Um, so I have that. And so I'm going to put these on the card base and my card bases are all vanilla, very vanilla because this paper pack had very vanilla as the, the white. If your paper pack has white, you'd of course use white, or you could use the colored cardstock. It doesn't matter. Just whatever, uh, you want to do, but it's just a real simple, um, design. What we could call this sketch for, uh, for a better word. All right. So I'm going to put all those on there. Then this is my scrap paper for stamping. This is the backside of the, uh, baseball diamonds. And I did the flag tail punch on it. So, um, it can either go this way, which I do like, or we can turn it sideways and we can do it this way. So however you want to do that. Um, the next thing I did is I punched out a bunch of the navy circles because the stripe has navy in it. So that is just going to either, well, it's going to go like that. Okay. And so that'll go on the card. And then finally, what I did this is, oh, so these are going to be get well cards. I seem to always need get well cards. And especially with COVID. I'm just hoping COVID's finally gone. Aren't you guys? Oh, I hate COVID. All right. This one came off. This actually originally on the stamp set was a big, long stamp. And I cut it in half so that it would fit better in the circle. And it's wanting to come off. There we go. All right. So now we've got it on there. So it says sending some get well cheer. All right. And so that's going to go in there, but it's going to go on a circle here. All right. Let's do this. First thing I need is some ink. So I'm going to get out my Knight of Navy ink. Move all this back and get this out. And how do we hear? Kim is all the way across the pond. We're so international. Yes, we are, Kim. <laughs> I love it. Um, make sure this is the right direction. Okay. Stamp it up. There we go. And then I can do one on this side. And I just need six of them. I notice I'm getting a lot of ink on my square. So be careful when you're pressing down. You don't accidentally. Oh, I think that might be too close to the edge. We'll see. All right. Yeah, I think I better redo that one. Okay. All right. Let's get our punch. Um, I have all kinds of punches. This is a one and a half. I wish I had a one and three quarters, but that's all right. Hmm. Nope. We are going to go with the larger punch. Um, I think I can, you know, I should have thought of this through already. I thought all the other cards through, but this one I was, yeah. Let's see how that looks. And if I don't like it, I can redo it. Okay. So that will, whoops, come here. Go on here, and then that goes on there. And then we can either do it this way. Come on. See how simple that is? It's so nice. Or we can do it sideways, which I like that way, too. It gives the banner more room. Okay. Or do I want this to be a littler circle? I'm wondering. Let me check. And see how I like the littler circle. How are you guys? What do you think? Oh, Kim is asking if she's heard from me. Mom, me mom pops on here occasionally. Yes. Um, but we do want to keep up with her. She's. She always needs our prayers. Okay. So here's what the littler circle would look like. What do you guys think? It gives more of the blue decorative piece back there, but it almost looks too flowery to me. I'm thinking I'd rather have this and then maybe put some stars or something around it. Yeah. Sending you some, we're going to do that. Okay. So let me finish punching these out then. Now that I've made that decision. <laughs> and we're, we're trying to, uh, we're not getting too fancy with these cards so that it doesn't take very long to make them. You don't want to be spending 
a lot of time because the idea is that you can make a whole bunch of them in one evening. Just sit down with all your supplies and just get them out. Okay, and let's see one more here. There we go. Okay, now I've got all those punched out. Now put my ink away so I don't make an inky mess. And I need my tape runner. Where did my tape runner go? I know it's right here. Yep, there it is. <laughs> oh, you're you're very welcome, Linda. Linda says that um, she loves all the hints on making quick cards. Well, thank you very much, you guys. I am. Um, that's what I'm here for. And come on, my tape runner's not wanting to run. Whoa, there we go. Sometimes you try to advance it and it makes a mess. Okay. I'm trying to go so fast that uh, I'm making mistakes. Don't want to do that. Don't do that. Don't make mistakes. Okay. Got all that. Now that all my circles are ready, I can just hold it there. And it's kind of hard to see the Navy on my gray mat, but I'm making do. Okay. Oh, Leanne wants to know if the tape runners hold up well. Oh my gosh, I love this. Once I got used to this tape runner, I love it. At first it was hard to switch because we used to sell the Tombow tape runner and I was so used to that. But this one, the trick to this tape runner, here I'll show you, is running it and then flicking it back. Well, you couldn't see. Let me see if I can show you better. Um, you run it, but then you have to pull it back on itself. Y'all can't see very well. Um, let me see if I can show you this way. So when you come across, you want to bring it back and then rub it off so that the edge of the tape breaks right there on the little wheel. Okay, if for any reason your tape doesn't break there and you can't seem to get it catch, that's when you have to take your finger and just very loosely roll the tape until you get the stickiness there again. I hope that makes sense. But the, uh, the trick is to uh, take it back on itself. Let me show you one more time. So I just take the tape runner and I run it just like regular. But then I, I have the wheel on the paper and I'm just bending it back. And then I'm pulling it off. Okay. So that it breaks right there. But yes, this tape runner does really well and I get a lot of cards out of it. Of course, I don't I don't put tape, I won't put tape all the way around. I'll just put two strips of tape right there. It's strong enough to hold with just two pieces of tape. That's the other thing I like about it. It's strong tape. And this isn't even our strongest tape. Our strongest tape is the Stamp and Seal Plus. This is just regular Stamp and Seal. All right. Okay, we got all those done. Now, let's move all those out of the way and let's get all the papers onto the card bases. And like I said, I just cut the card bases, you know, eight and a half by 11. I just cut them in half and scored them at four and a quarter. Come on. We're all going to turn all these over. And just like I said, I'm just going one, two. And pick it up, take my card base, kind of eyeball it. I'm not even in being perfect on that. Okay, and love it. Whoops, looks like I cut that one a little short. My bases, I think, are a little short, but that's okay. They still look good. <laughs> I tell you what, when you mass cut, when you cut paper, um, like a big stack of paper all at once, it sometimes shifts. And so you don't get a good even cut. Um, so you can you notice that that's just got a little, well, you can't really see there. And at the bottom, there's barely any showing. But that's okay. They're handmade. They're not supposed to be perfect. <laughs> supposed to look nice, but not be perfect. There, that one's better. 
Oh, okay. So Leanne said she had not heard of the Stamp and Seal Plus. All right. In the back of the new catalog, of the big annual catalog. Okay. So we have two catalogs. We have mini catalogs and we have an annual catalog, which if you don't have the new annual catalog, just give me a message. I'll send you one. Um, in the back, it's got adhesives. Okay. And um, there's the Stamp and Seal is, is this one. Then there's Stamp and Seal with a little plus sign right there. And it is the tape that is so strong. It's good and strong for like um, making boxes and bags, 3D thing, 3D projects. It's super, super strong tape. Um, okay, but it's right next to. They're 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 listed on the same page in the catalog. All right, we got all the bases on. Now let's get our strips. Okay, and I still haven't decided which direction I want these to go. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go this way. Yeah. All right. Made my decision. And then I just take some paper. I mean, look how fast this is going. So you can just tonight take yourself a pack of paper. So this is the trick. You take a pack of paper. And the reason I take a pack and not a whole bunch of scraps is because I want to go fast. And a pack of paper, everything's going to match. Okay. The backs and fronts are all going to go coordinate with each other. Um, Cut your pack of paper into four by sixes and you should, and you'll get six bases for every sheet of paper you have. Then you cut the bottom off so that your bases are four by five and a quarter, five and a quarter. Whoa, no, I put it on the wrong side. Okay. Don't talk and scrap at the same time. That is going to look weird with that. Okay, hold on. I can fix this. Well, this circle is going to go on there, so that's fine. It's, but I've got sticky over here. Um, this is how I'm going to fix it. Watch this, you guys. All right, so I'm taking some navy, and I need a trimmer. Here we go. I'm going to trim off a section of this knight of navy to put over that stripe a piece of tape <laughs> okay kind of tore there we go oh that's cool looking all right i love it and you know what i'm going to take that off i'm going to tear that too Oh, this is a totally different card. <laughs> okay. That's how you fix it when you accidentally put tape on the wrong side. <laughs> there we go. All right. And, okay, make sure I don't make that mistake on these. There we go. <laughs> oh, Kim says, oh, I like that mistake. <laughs> Oh, I hope y'all are enjoying this. Okay. And I hope you're getting a lot of value out of this. I hope this is the kind of stuff you guys like. I, I think it is. By listening to your comments and your questions you ask me, I'm thinking this is the kind of stuff you like. So if it is, of course, you can give me a thumbs up. Don't you love those little cute thumbs up? And actually, I noticed that when you do a thumbs up, sometimes they like, they, um, they pop like a little firecracker now and change colors. I mean, it's still just a regular like when you're finished, but when you hit the like, it does that. It was kind of fun. It, or maybe that's on the Facebook. I'm not sure. But I did notice that the other day when I was doing a like, I was like, oh, look, it exploded. <laughs> okay. Doing all these dimensionals. Almost done. And I'll have 48 cards. That's a lot of cards. And the other trick to going fast is doing all the same step to all the cards. So I'm doing like all six of these. I, I'm putting all the adhesive on the back of all six of them at once. Then I can take the adhesive off. And if y'all haven't seen this trick where you take a paper piercer and it kind of holds all the things there in once. And like I said, I can go back later when I actually am ready to send this card and I can put, you know, a little something there. I can put some stuff up here. I can stamp it with something else on the inside. So um, it's just a base. We're just making bases. Um, 
All right, let me show you this again. So you just stab it with the paper piercer and pull it up. And it keeps all the little backings right there in a nice, nice, nice little pile. Okay. And then here's my mess up one. <laughs> You know, I might have wanted to do like a yellow strip instead because the blue on blue, you can't really see it, but that's all right. all right. And almost done. Just got two more. Oh, Pat said, yes, yeah, she's enjoying it. She always enjoys it. Well, thank you, Pat. There we go. And one more. And I can't wait. I hope you all take this um, and get yourself a whole bunch of cards ready. Because they don't have just have to be masculine cards, obviously. But um, I did it because I was like, I'm always running out of masculine cards. And this time of year, we're making Father's Day cards. And for those of you who weren't here with me in the very beginning, let me show you all the cards one more time. So here are all 48 of the cards. And like I said, I just, I took a 12 by 12. I cut it into four by six. Then I cut the five and a quarter. So I got this three quarter inch strip here and just flipped it over and made like a banner. Um, I did that with all the paper. And then I just took punches and punched out sentiments. I really like the way you're in my prayers turned out. I think that's really pretty. Um, then here, my father's day, just real simple, um, just dots. So I can change it up. If, if he's not a baseball player, um, I can do all kinds of different things with that. It's a very generic style. Um, now, of course, for my baseball players, it's got some baseball hats and balls and the ticket. And this one also to a great guy, all the baseball paraphernalia there. And then this one has baseball bats with banners. I love that. And finally, the one that we just did, sending you get well wishes. Very generic, just has stars, so you can really do anything with that one, too. I hope you all enjoyed today's tutorial. Don't forget, sign up for my newsletter. I've got my card kit going. There is a thing right here for more masculine cards. Um, it takes a while for that to pump up. So those of you who are watching me 